Okay, guys, if you like this channel, subscribe, share this video on social media, but let's get right to it. So Variety is reporting that any Murphy's coming to America moves from Paramount to Amazon Studios. This is huge, guys. I mean, after No Time for Die pushed to next year and just about the entire 2020 slate is now uh, going to start up in the spring, uh, midsummer of 2021, no surprise here. December 18th was when it was supposed to drop or uh, Christmas uh, coming to America 2 in theaters, but in a huge ballsy move, ballsy move, but not ballsy in a financial sense. Amazon Studios, you know, parent company, Amazon, they have more money than God, uh, so they can buy movies left and right. So coming to America, according to Variety, is making one more connection before it arrives to American audiences. The long-anticipated sweet sequel to the Eddie Murphy classic is in the process of being sold by distributor Paramount Pictures to Amazon Studios in a deal worth roughly $125 million. It's expected to have a streaming uh, premiere date in December, December 18th, sources said. Now, this movie was probably shot for about $40 million, um, I'm guessing. I haven't seen the numbers yet. But the rule of thumb is you got to double your budget to break even. So it probably needed an $80 million break even. Now, coming out with COVID and everything that's been going on with the uh, movie theaters, there's no way this movie would have broke even at $80 million. So for this to be purchased with a cherry on top, uh, uh, you know, of an additional $45 million by Amazon Studios, and again, Jeff Bezos, multi-billion gazillionaire, this is a drop in the bucket, $125 million, but it's a huge win for Paramount. Not only did Paramount get $125 million for the film, but Paramount also received a $13 million tax credit from the state of California for shooting the movie. Uh, predominantly in California, post-production and all that other kind of stuff. So uh, the article goes on to say, final details are being hammered out, sources said, including two complex consumer marketing tie-ins with McDonald's and whiskey brand Crown Royal, which are expected to transfer over to Amazon Studios with the film. Murphy, who produced, oh man, he made out like a champ on this one, as well as stars in the film, has given the blessing for this to go forward. And I think the writing is on the wall with the cinema for 2020 uh, with COVID. The sale is said to be a priority for Amazon Studio Chief Jennifer Salk, who has been on the hunt for more commercial fare with the recent acquisition of the sequel to Borat, which I love that trailer. That was hysterical. I can't wait to see that. And another Paramount acquisition in the Tom Clancy adaptation Without Remorse starring Michael B. Jordan. The studio also picked up the Regina King's One Night in Miami, which is expected to be an Oscar contender. In light of the ongoing movie and theater closures and countless blockbusters changing release dates, Paramount had been exploring numerous options in recent weeks for the tentative Christmas Day release of Coming to America, t Coming to America, including selling the rights of in-house at uh, owner of Viacom streaming CBS All Access uh, sources say, okay, we'll see. All right, so Paramount, Viacom owns Paramount and CBS. So if it was going to be on CBS All Access, they would have sold it to Viacom. Viacom would have just, it, it's just burying the money is what they would do. It, it would just be robbing Peter to pay Paul. They would not have made really a profit uh, by giving it to CBS All Access. So it made sense to just not even go there. Uh, the project is one of several that Paramount has sold this year to streamers, including Aaron Sorkin's The Trial of the Chicago 7 and the action comedy Lovebirds, both of which went to Netflix. The studio sold without remorse to Amazon. And then it goes on to talk about the first coming to America, John Landis, 1988. It grossed $300 million at the box office, blah, 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 blah. Guys, this is, this is huge news. So hats off to the blessing given by... Uh, Eddie Murphy to go ahead and, and move forward with this as a producer. Um, Paramount is going to make out like a bandit at $125 million. $125 million is a drop in the bucket uh, for Amazon, but it'll put everyone's eyeballs on Amazon Prime during the holiday shopping season. Everyone's just going to be going to Amazon anyway. And just the eyeballs going to see this movie who have Amazon Prime and the impact of the retail that could come from it, it was just... 
we are in a renaissance here all due to this virus and theaters will make a comeback, but it's going to have to be after, you know, mass vaccinations. That's why everything pushed to spring and summer of next year, because CDC is saying by April or May of next year, you know, they'll have vaccinations ready for the general public. And that's what they're banking on. But between now and then, these studios have to make money. So we're going to see Netflix and a couple of other studios, I think streaming networks, start to compete and start purchasing movies just like this. And look what happened with Greyhound. It was supposed to get a theatrical release, and that went straight to um, Amazon, uh, Apple+. Plus. And then you look at movies like uh, Bill and Ted's, uh, um, uh, their third film made $32 million streaming. Uh, which is probably more than it would have made uh, being released in the theaters during this crisis uh, pandemic. I mean, guys, 2020 is over for the theater industry. They're going to need a bailout or a lot of theaters were, will go under uh, uh, going into 2021. So, man, this is wild, guys. What do you guys think? Are you ready to see Coming to America too? I know I am. Um, and the fact that this is on Amazon Prime and my wife and I have Amazon Prime, uh, you know, we'll be able to watch the movie. And, you know, the bottom line is this may not have been a movie that I would have paid to see as a general audience member, even without the pandemic. Uh, I love the original film. Can they capture lightning in a bottle twice after 20 years or 30 years or whatever? I, I, I'm skeptical. So the fact that I can now watch it streaming and it's not really going to cost me anything, um, it's a win for me. What did you guys think? Let's talk about it in the comments section and we'll see you on the next one.